Hey gang, Xavier here for Hum of the Earth. Signing in from Vel Kolinek, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was designated as so because it is one of the best uh, well-preserved examples of a traditional Central European mound town. So as you can see, here in the mounds, life can be hard, so you have to make do with what you have. And what do we have? A lot of trees. So you can see that uh, pretty much everything here, except for the foundations, are made out of logs. So these are rocks that they would have found uh, nearby as well. But everything else, including the roofs, are made out of wood found from within these eastern Slovakian mountains. So here we have the inside of one of the houses. They're pretty small dwellings. They have a bedroom slash family room slash workshop slash kitchen. This being the main part of the kitchen here. And here, another workshop. And some kind of attic here. Workshop being used for making the tools that they would use in their everyday life. A crib, table, some pictures of Jesus, of course. So there's no electricity uh, at the time, so you could see a, a, a lantern there. They probably used maybe some kind of oil, maybe kerosene or something, to illuminate things during the evening. Little stool. Something that might not be apparent here, but the doorways are pretty short here. I don't know how tall people were when they first made these homes. What's interesting is that there's still people that uh, live here in this town. Although it is certainly beautiful here in the winter, if we were here in the summer, you could see some people in their traditional clothing. And behind the house that we were just in, we have um, a shed <clears throat> where they would keep their agricultural equipment. Here is an old original grain separator. Here is another uh, tool that was used for soil cultivation here. You could survive up here in the mountains.
sharpening his horns for uh, the next tourist that gets too close, I guess. It's not gonna be me. This guy seems pretty harmless. Oh, oh, oh. This structure here is the town's well, operated with this wooden wheel. What else? There's a sign here letting us know that we should not light this on fire. Here we have the town's crown jewel, the bell tower. I don't know if you can see the, the bell in there. This was an important part of traditional towns like this. You would ring the bell when it was time for prayer and also for a warning if there was uh, perhaps a fire or, or some other type of emergency that people needed to be alerted to. Or perhaps if a bear had entered the village. Archaeologists have found evidence of human life here that dates back as far as the 10th century. But it's believed that um, an actual town only really flourished here uh, as early as the um, 14th century. But given that the houses are mostly made out of wood and wood doesn't last uh, forever, most of the houses here uh, are from the 1800s. So here we have the town's school. Correction, it used to be the school, but given that the village only has a population of 21 people, uh, there's no longer actually a school that's active inside the town. Um, if there are any children here, they would go to the uh, nearby town of of Rosenbrock, which is less than 10 kilometers away. And this town here actually is administered by the town of uh, Rosenbrock. And here we have the town's Roman Catholic Church. <laughs> Someone was crazy enough to bicycle up here. So I hope you enjoyed this 
tour in the history of the small traditional folk mountain town of Vilkolinek here in beautiful eastern Slovakia. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy some other videos on this channel of other towns in Slovakia. All of them being a little bit bigger than this one, such as uh, Nitra in Western Slovakia, um, Banska Bistrika, and Banska Stiavnika, as well as a longer video called Journey Through Western Slovakia, where I bicycle through the western and eastern uh, part of Slovakia and document the adventure and it certainly was an adventure and then next up on the channel i'll be bicycling through eastern slovakia which is the more uh, traditional um, part of slovakia more agricultural base more of a traditional culture as opposed to Western Slovakia, which is more uh, working class and modern. So I'm pretty excited for that. And this was all part of a longer journey bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe. And before that, I bicycled from Before that, I bicycled from Cape Town, South Africa to Nairobi, Kenya. And before that, I bicycled from Canada, where I'm from, all the way to Southern Patagonia in Argentina. And all of those videos are available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com, where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of these places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, once again through Central and Eastern Europe, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and then clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. So that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.